Today's a historic day. Tuesday, workers finished loading this barge with the first of 12 wind turbines, all part of the South Fork Wind Project. This is expected to be the first large scale wind turbine farm in the federal waters of the Americas. So this is a great, great day for Connecticut, a great day for our nation. These pre-assembled tower sections, a nacelle and three blades were loaded onto the transport barge. Each of these blades longer than a football field. Once they reach their resting place out in the water, each turbine will take 60 hours to put together. Once built, they'll be more than 800 feet tall. Eversource expects more than half of the turbines to be constructed by the end of this year when they can start generating power. It's going to displace two diesel generators that they've been using out there for peak load. They're going to be bringing in clean power. And this is just the beginning. Connecticut has several other offshore wind projects already in the works. Those here today saying this is an important investment for the state and the nation. Eversource announced Tuesday the next step in another endeavor, Revolution Wind, which would create 65 turbines, more than five times the size of this first project. We've just committed to FID today, which is a financial commitment, meaning we're moving forward. That financial decision was made, so we're moving forward. So nothing is going to stop here. Eversource CEO Joe Nolan says Revolution Wind is on the company's agenda for 2024, with their sights set on an additional project in 2025. We are now birthing, if you will, a new industry right now uh, in this country, and it's happening right here in New London, Connecticut. Reporting in New London, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.